an extraterrestrial or alien is any extraterrestrial lifeform, a lifeform that did not originate on Earth. The word extraterrestrial means, "...outside Earth." The first published use of extraterrestrial as a noun occurred in 1956. During the golden age of science fiction, extraterrestrials are a common theme in modern science fiction, and also appeared in much earlier works such as the second century parody True History by Lucian of Samosata. Gary Westfall writes Science fiction aliens are both metaphors and real possibilities. One can probe the nature of humanity with aliens that by contrast illustrate and comment upon human nature. Still, as evidenced by widespread belief in alien visitors CUFOs, and efforts to detect extraterrestrial radio signals, humans also crave companionship in a vast, cold universe and aliens may represent hopeful, compensatory images of the strange friends we have been unable to find. Thus, aliens will likely remain a central theme in science fiction until we actually encounter them. Topic: History. Topic: Pre-modern Cosmic pluralism, the assumption that there are many inhabited worlds beyond the human sphere predates modernity and the development of the heliocentric model and is common in mythologies worldwide. The second-century writer of satires, Lucian, in his true history claims to have visited the moon when his ship was sent up by a fountain, which was peopled and at war with the people of the sun over colonization of the morning star. Other worlds are depicted in such early works as the 10th century Japanese narrative, The Tale of the Bamboo Cutter, and the medieval Arabic The Adventures of Bulukia, from the 1001 Nights. <laughs> early modern The assumption of extraterrestrial life in the narrow sense as opposed to generic cosmic pluralism becomes possible with the development of the heliocentric understanding of the solar system and later the understanding of interstellar space during the early modern period and the topic was popular in the literature of the 17th and 18th century. In Johannes Kepler's Somnium, published in 1634, the character Duracotus is transported to the moon by demons. Even if much of the story is fantasy, the scientific facts about the Moon and how the lunar environment has shaped its non-human inhabitants are science fiction. The didactic poet Henry Moore took up the classical theme of cosmic pluralism of the Greek Democritus in Democritus Platonisons, or an essay upon the infinity of worlds, 1647, with the new relative viewpoint that understood, our world's sun, becomes a star elsewhere. Moore made the speculative leap to extrasolar planets. The frigid spheres that bout them fair. Which of themselves quite dead and barren are. But by the wakening warmth of kindly days. And the sweet dewy nights, in due course rays. Long hidden shapes and life, to their great maker's praise, the possibility of extraterrestrial life was a commonplace of educated discourse in the 17th century, though in Paradise Lost 1667, John Milton cautiously employed the conditional when the angel suggests to Adam the possibility of life on the moon. Her spots thou seest as clouds, and clouds may rain, and rain produce fruits in her softened soil, for some to eat. Allotted there, and other suns, perhaps, with their attendant moons, thou wilt descry, communicating male and female light, which two great sexes animate the world, stored in each orb perhaps with some that live fontanelles, conversations on the plurality of worlds. With its similar excursions on the possibility of extraterrestrial life, expanding rather than denying the creative sphere of a maker, was translated into English in 1686. In The Excursion, 1728, David Mallet exclaimed, Ten thousand worlds blaze forth, each with his train, of peopled worlds. In 1752, Voltaire published, Micromagas. 
That told of a giant that visits Earth to impart knowledge and Washington Irving in his novel, A History of New York from the Beginning of the World to the End of the Dutch Dynasty, spoke of Earth being visited by Lunarians, Camille Flammarion who lived in a time where biological science had made further progress, made speculation about how life could have evolved on other planets in works such as La Pluralité des Mondes Habites The Plurality of Inhabited Worlds 1862, and Recit de l'Infini 1872, translated as Stories of Infinity in 1873. Stories written before the genre of science fiction had found its form. Closer to the modern age is J. H. Rosny, who wrote the short story Les Siphehas 1887, about a human encounter with extraterrestrials who turns out to be a mineral life form impossible to communicate with. Topic: Modern. Topic: Late 19th century, early 20th century. Authors such as H. G. Wells, Olaf Stapledon, and Edgar Rice Burroughs wrote both monitora and celebratory stories of encountering aliens in their science fiction and fantasies. Westfall sums up. To survey science fiction aliens, one can classify them by their physiology, character, and eventual relationships with humanity." Early works posited that aliens would be identical or similar to humans, as is true of Edgar Rice Burroughs's Martians see Mars, a princess of Mars, with variations in skin color, size, and number of arms. Later writers realized that such humanoid aliens would not arise through parallel evolution and hence either avoided them or introduced the explanation of ancient races that populated the cosmos with similar beings. The notion surfaces in Ursula K. Le Guin's Hainish novels See the Left Hand of Darkness, The Dispossessed and was introduced to justify the humanoid aliens of Star Trek who even intermarry and have children in the Star Trek, the Next Generation episode, The Chase. 1993, another common idea is aliens who closely resemble animals. Among the many fictional aliens who resemble Earth's animals, Westfall lists. Francis Flagg's The Lizard Men of Bullough, 1930. The Winged Hawk Men of the Serial Flash Gordon, 1936, and its sequels. The insect-like alien enemies of Robert A. Heinlein's Starship Troopers and Orson Scott Card's Ender's Game. The Cat-like Aliens of Fritz Leiber's The Wanderer 1964. The Mog. Half Man, Half Dog. Of the Farcical Spaceballs 1987, Westfall continues, however, Stanley G. Weinbaum's A Martian Odyssey 1934 encouraged writers to create genuinely unusual aliens, not merely humans or animals in disguise. Olaf Stapledon also populated the universe with disparate aliens, including sentient stars, in Star Maker. Later, Hal Clement, a hard science fiction writer famed for strange but plausible worlds, also developed bizarre aliens in works like Cycle of Fire 1957. Topic. See also Articles related to the phenomenon of extraterrestrials in fiction and popular culture History of science fiction Alien invasion List of fictional extraterrestrials List of films featuring extraterrestrials Parasites in fiction articles related to the purported or theorized existence of extraterrestrials Beliefs in extraterrestrial life Gray alien, frequently reported alien in field of ufology, now with some usage in fiction and popular culture.